Hey, what up guys, my name is HB and I'm here to show you how to recreate the lead sound from Tremor by Martin Garrix and Dimitri Vegas and Like Mike, so let's go. So basically you can break down this sound to two parts. We have this main part, part A, that sounds like this. And then we have part B that sounds like this. Now, if I take off the uh, audio effects that we have here, uh, this is how part A sounds. And basically what it is, we have a saw wave, uh, one voice, retrig on, and then we have a super saw, slightly detuned, and you can also see the amp envelope settings that we have to give it a little bit of attack. But basically what makes this sound is we have a filter on, we have a bandpass set to 12 dB, the cutoff is about 5, uh, the resonance is set to 2.5, and we have a little bit of drive. Now we also have a little bit of filter control, we have the, uh, the cutoff set to 4.5, uh, resonance to 0 0.5 and the key track set to 2. Now the key track is important because it's going to allow us to uh, have a little bit of movement on the cutoff of filter A. Uh, depends on what notes you trigger is going to move left and right, give us a little bit of variation to the sound. Now if we move to part B, basically what it is, it's a super saw, 8 voices, uh, uh, slightly more detuned, and we have a white noise at 0 0.2 volume. Uh, you can see the amp envelope settings that we have also to give us a little bit of attack. Uh, we also utilizing the filter here, we have a high pass, uh, cutoff set to five, resonance at zero, drive at zero. And this is it really for part B. Uh, now we do have stuff that, that affect the whole sound itself. We have an LFO one on pitch A and B. We have the rate set to uh, uh, one eighth. And then we have a little bit of gain, 0 0.65. And this knob right here is set to 0 0.8. So it just gives us a little bit of movement. Uh, it's going to modulate the pitch to move up and down a little bit. And then next we have uh, uh, some envelope modulation. Uh, we have this envelope settings uh, that affects the cutoff of part A. So it's going to move it all the way over here. Uh, this is set to 6.8, attack at 0, uh, sustain at 0, and release at 0, but D is set to uh, uh, 0 0.33. And then we have another envelope modulation that affects the pitch of both uh, parts A and B, and then we have also, uh, uh, and then it's also going to affect the volume of part B. Uh, you can see the settings over here, attack at 0, sustain at 0, uh, release at 0, decay, is set to uh, uh, 0 0.17. The pitch over here is set to 5.5, uh, and the volume is set to uh, 6. And we also have Portamento set to 29.3. And now we can move on to the effects that we have. Mainly what makes this sound is the distortion, because this is how it sounds without the distortion. And this is how it sounds with. Uh, we also gonna apply an EQ, uh, bass is set to default, bass frequency to default. I'm just boosting a little bit of the treble to 9 dB, and I'm also uh, putting a compressor on just to give it a little bit of attack. So the attack is set to 14.65, uh, the release at 1, um, all the way down, and this is how it sounds with, with everything on it. Also important to note the uh, the ratio between part one, uh, part A and B. You have uh, uh, A all the way up and B is set to 2.7. Yeah, and this is it. Uh, let me know if this was helpful. Feel free to leave a comment down below. Uh, if you want to talk to me in person or in virtual, <laughs> I stream on Twitch under the username VHB, that's the underscore HB, I'm sure it's uh, here somewhere. Um, so feel free to come on by, talk to me, ask questions, I'm always down to help, and I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye.